Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome to your mat. Welcome back to your mat. And um, it is January 1st, 2024. So we're starting the new year on the right foot, uh, starting with our practices. And so if this is new for you, um, you're, there's going to be some things that you may need, right? You may need some props and blankets, blocks, um, maybe a strap that you can, you know, wrap around uh, your foot or in other ways that we may use it. So have those things handy. Also have a journal handy, something to jot down some notes with. And so what I encourage you to do during our practices together is before every practice, just write down what your state of being, your state's of being or how are you feeling mentally, physically, emotionally. And, and then at the end of every practice, after we finished, if you have the time, I've heard from many of you about after practice, not having the time to jot those notes down, but um, t try and take the time. How about we make a change this year and try and take the time, just a few minutes to jot down how you're feeling after the practice. And then you can kind of see what shifts have happened during our very short 30 minutes together. So every day we get together for 30 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe a few minutes over. It's not a lot of time. So you can make a commitment to wellness. My challenge to you is to actually participate, to commit to the practices, to try and do them at the same time every single day, and to have them continue into your life beyond whether it's the first two weeks that you're motivated in January or maybe the first month, and then you kind of fall off. I've been doing this for many years, and I've seen it happen many times. So if you can make this, to commit, this commitment to yourself to have this time for yourself every day, you will see major shifts happen in your life. So that is my challenge for you in this 2024. Um, so the practices are going to be anything from strength practices to lengthening. So you'll be challenged sometimes more strength-wise, and sometimes your flexibility will be challenged more. It'll just kind of be a variety of things. Yoga mixed in with, sprinkled in with other forms of movement. So that's what we'll be doing. Um, so what I want you to think about, it is the beginning of the year. And some people make resolutions, some people don't. But what is your intention for 2024? or intentions, perhaps you have more than one. So think about that. We're gonna utilize that actually at, at the end of our practice. We're gonna set that intention at the end of our practice in a practice that we're going to be doing. The other thing that we're gonna do every single day is some mindfulness. So you can actually start a mindfulness practice or continue a mindfulness practice. And so every day we'll, we'll do several minutes and start to lengthen that practice as the month goes on. And then physically, the other thing that we're going to be doing is a plank pose daily. So, and for those of you that have been joining since um, November when we started, I've shortened it, which is probably nice to hear. We were doing 90 seconds. We're going to be doing 60 seconds now, but I will be adding uh, a few seconds every few days to where we get to a little bit longer plank by the end of the month. So all of that said, do what you can, listen to your body, become aware of what's happening in your body. I'm not in your body, I'm not with you. Find what works for you. I'll give a lot of cues and then always you can pop in the chat and, and uh, you know, comments and, and if you have questions, feel free to ask them and I will get to them and uh, hopefully it will help you. So um, I think I've got everything before we start our mindfulness practice. Yes, we're going to start today seated in Sukhasana, easy pose. So right leg in front, left leg behind. I am not going to mirror you. For those of you that are new to practicing with me, I am horrific with my left and right. So just make sure you do both sides all the time. Right leg in front, left leg behind. We calf, calf and shin uh, in front of each other, feet somewhere underneath the knees, right? And if you need to, I'm sitting on... Um, a little support here. You can sit up on a blanket. You can stack some blankets under your knees. We're going to roll our shoulders up and back. Have a little bit of connection to your center. So you've got some core support here. Rest your palms facing downwards. And just take a moment and check in with yourself. How are you feeling on this new year? New Year's Day in this new year. Do you have a newfound hope? Do 
So just check in what's going on with your body. Let's check in with our breathing. Just feel your breath flowing in and out through your nostrils. Soften any tension you may be holding on to in your facial muscles. Let's soften the brow. Soften your eyes and your eyelids. And just start to look into that space right between your eyes. Gaze into that space. Just with a sense of curiosity, a softness. No expectation, just gazing. And let's soften our cheeks and our jaws, just your facial muscles, the mouth. And now bring your full attention to the breath flowing in and out through your nostrils. So without changing the rhythm of the breath, just allowing the breath to flow naturally, feel the breath flowing. And start to recognize any sensations that may arise from this action of breathing. Be aware of the flow of the breath in and out through the nostrils perhaps can recognize if the breath is flowing evenly through both nostrils or if one side is more open. Perhaps there's sensation on the bridge of the nose or right above the upper lip. Maybe you can feel the temperature or whatever sensations arise for you. It is your experience. You cannot do this incorrectly. You just feel the breath. If thoughts come in, just check yourself. Remind yourself that you're here just to be present and focus back on your breathing. Now bring focus back to that space between your eyes. You're going to look into that space once again and start to drop your gaze within. So deep down, look into your heart center. Drop down into the center of your chest. Look within. Rest your gaze here for a moment. And we set an intention for every practice that we do together. So open yourself to an intention for your practice. What would you like to achieve in our time together? So allow that information to come to you instead of thinking about it. Just be open. And once you've found your intention, gently blink your eyes open. Let's switch the crisscross of the legs. So just gonna release the legs out, bring them back in. Switch the crisscross, rock the seat evenly out from underneath you. And we're just going to do some seated cats and cows here. So we're going to breathe in, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest up, chin back, and then exhale, chin into the chest and round out the back belly. Go straight back, spread those shoulder blades out. Inhale, open up the heart. So we're just moving along the front and back body. Really sink it back, spread the back out as you go into that seated cat pose and then the seated cow pose which is the one we're in right now just a little back bend open the heart get into that neck and throat space open that space up right your communication center releasing any blocks in that space and one more inhale roll the shoulders back Exhale, deep contraction in the belly, spread the shoulder blades, open the heart up. 
Sit up nice and tall here. We're going to float the arms straight up to the sky. And we're just going to take a twist to the right. So spin it to the right. As you turn, that backhand is holding you up. We're pulling that left hip down. So we're not turning from our low back. And then we're going to draw our chin in and turn your head in the opposite direction. A little double twist along the spine here. Keep lifting and turning the right ribs back. Keep grounding that left hip so the pelvis doesn't move. And let's inhale, float the arms back up, reach to the sky, nice long side body. Let's go to the left, ground that right hip down. Backhand kind of lifts you so you're tall, you're lifting up and out of the hips. And left ribs draw back, chin in, gaze to the right. So we go the opposite direction with our head. Keep spinning those left ribs to the left. And that right hip is nice and grounded. Inhale, flip both arms up. Exhale, release the hands down. We're going to take our right hand across the body here. You're going to take your left hand and just take a hold of your wrist and start to pull your arm across the front of your body. So really pull it, spread that shoulder blade out. Don't have it up by your ear. And we're going to turn our gaze to the right. Maybe turning a little bit with the torso. So whenever we go and turn in one direction, keep that opposite hip grounded. Let's bring it back to center. Switch the left arm crosses in front of the body. Grab a hold of the wrist and pull it across your body. Lift yourself tall. Let's turn our gaze to the left. And bring it back to center. Now we're going to interlace our hands behind our back. So clasp your palms together behind your back. And pull the palms away from the back, roll the shoulders back, open up the chest, gaze is going to go up, chin is going to go up, just creating space, feel your heart center opening. And bring it back to center, just a little shoulder roll here, and let's make our way into our first plank of 2024 together. Perhaps you've already done one. So we're going to come to the knees. If plank is new for you, you're going to come on your knees and do this from the knees. If you have the strength here, you've been practicing with us, you can do a plank, take your knees off of the mat. So starting, all 10 fingers spread really wide, right? Think of a gecko just kind of holding onto the side of a rock. So spread those fingers wide, draw your elbows back, and open up the chest, right? So we're pushing into the mat, opening up the collarbones here. And gaze is just ahead of you so the head's not dropping. Draw all of those belly muscles in deep. Belly is contracted here. The legs are active. Lift up those kneecaps with your thighs. And press the heels back without the shoulders moving if you're in the full plank pose, right? So just a little bit more length here. Make sure your hips are not down here. So we've got a little lift. Get into your glutes, your butt muscles. The breath is steady here. And then there's a, just a little drawing back of the palms to open the chest. One more breath here. And we're going to take downward facing dog. So push your hips up and back. Bend your knees. So for those of you that are tight in down dog, right, where you come into the pose and everything's kind of leaning forward and your back is rounded, take a deep bend to your knees. Push your hips back and really get some length here. So if you have the space, you can go for the straight legs. Or you can start with bent knees either way. So find that space. Keep hugging those front ribs in so you're not dropping the chest to the mat. Let the head get heavy. Take a couple deep breaths here. Find that length in your spine. Push your hips back. And we're going to take our right foot to the top of the mat. So right foot steps to the top of the mat as far forward as you can get it. Left knee is going to drop down. If you need to, you inch that back leg back. And we're just going to stay here on our fingertips for the moment and just feel that left pelvis kind of drawing forward, the back one. And then the front leg hip is going to draw back a little bit. Lift your chest up. And then we're going to start to straighten our leg out. So walk the hands back. Get very active through this extended leg. Spread your toes and let yourself drop as much as you can over this leg. And it just might be just dropping the head if you're really tight here. Start with a little bit of a bent knee if you need to, if it's too much on, you know, the back of the leg. Take a couple deep breaths here. Let yourself drop over the leg. Hips are high. We're not sinking back to our heel. And we're going to come back into that low lunge. Open the chest up and rise up into the full low lunge. So arms up, 
Anjaneyasana. Back toes are either tucked if you need that support in the knee or the foot is straight back. No sickling at that ankle. So really press down into the top of the foot. So from here, we're going to try and get that back leg off of the mat. And if you can't get it off of the mat, just step to the top of the mat and step back into crescent pose. So let's lift that left knee off of the mat. Come into your crescent pose, lunge here. Breathe. And we're going to take the left hand to the mat. So left hand to the inside of the right foot. Inhale, just reach your arm straight up to the sky and start to spin those right ribs back. Reach through your fingertips. Roll both shoulders back. Gaze up. Feel that open heart. And then we float our hand down to the mat. We're going to step back again into our plank pose. Again, take this from your knees if you need to. Yoga push-up. Elbows go straight back. Heart leads the way. We come down. Either you're going to come into a little cobra pose, lift your chest, or if you're ready for an upward facing dog, come into straight arms, knees off the mat. Gaze back and press back. Downward facing dog. Deep breath here. Hug those elbows in, squeeze into the armpits. Left foot floats to the top of the mat. Right knee drops. We walk it back and just find a little bit of space. Hang out here. Breathe. Be patient. Takes time to make shifts in our body. So draw that right pelvis forward, left, left hip back. Hearts lifted. Are you still connected to your center? Just check in with it every now and then. And then we start to walk it back in our half split pose. All right, Hanumanasana. Let, our, let yourself drop. And stay active in that leg. Lifting up the kneecap. Spreading the toes. Can you feel arches on both sides of your foot there? And take a few breaths here. Hips are high. They're not back on your heel. And then let's bring ourselves back into that lunge. Take a breath here. Ground through the back leg. Whether those toes are tucked or flat, push down and then rise up into your low lunge here. Reach the arms up. Palms hugging in towards each other, lifting the chest, back toes tuck under, and squeeze that thigh off of the mat into your crescent lunge here. So try to stay deep in the lunge. Maybe that back leg goes straight. If you're pitched forward here, then bend your back knee. Take a little bend to the knee to lift yourself up. Let's take the right hand to the mat and go for our twist here. Reach the left arm up to the sky. Roll the shoulders back and rise up. Find that lightness, even though we've got a lot of activation going on through the body. So find those places where there's space in your pose. Back leg's very active. And let's float down. We'll take one more vinyasa, step it back. We take our chaturanga, our yoga push-up. Heart leads the way. For those of you coming into upward facing, you can come halfway down if you have the strength. Heart lifts, belly strong. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's flip the right foot to the top of the mat. Drop your left knee. And we're going to just take our hands on the inside of that foot. Heel toe the foot to the right. I will face you so you can see what it looks like. Heel toe your foot to the right. And we're going to turn the foot out. Come onto your heel. Pull your toes back. Make sure that this ankle doesn't sickle. So there's no curve there. Pull the pinky to the side of your foot back. And we start to rock in the hip joint. So you're just going to kind of pivot there in the hip joint. Let's take the back knee off of the mat now. So once you've found that opening, you're just going to kind of hang out here in your lizard pose. If you have more space, you come to your forearms or you come to a prop. So I have my blocks, my blankets. You can prop something up and just rest on it here. So heart's lifted. Gaze is just ahead of you. Squeeze that hip to the right. One more breath here. Feel that opening. And prop yourself back up. Take your foot back to neutral position. We'll take a flow. Exhale, yoga push up, elbow straight back, heart forward. Inhale, back bend. Strong center. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath. Left foot floats to the top of the mat, right knee drops, heel toe it to the left, come onto the heel, toes all the way back, and start to rock in that hip joint. 
So just back and forth, up and down, starting to find space. And then tuck those back toes, push your back knee off from the mat. And whatever space you have here, just keep checking that ankle that's not curling up. And if you have the space, come forward. Deep breaths. Back thigh is active here. Heart is open. And we prop ourselves back up, take your foot back to neutral, shoot it back into plank pose. The last vinyasa of this practice, exhale. Inhale into whatever back bend you take. So you can take that little cobra pose. You're upward facing. If you take sphinx, you can take sphinx. Take a deep breath here. Push into the mat whenever you come into down dog. Get those hips to the back of the mat. Find space. Let's step to the top of the mat, both feet. Inhale, half forward fold. So you lift yourself as high as you need to to get the heart open. Exhale, full fold. Let the head drop. Press into your mat. Inhale, arms out and up, rise to the sky. Exhale. Mountain pose, Samasthiti. So let's make sure so we built some heat, right? We got our bodies moving. We're gonna come back down to the mat and come all the way to our backs. So you'll notice that there's energy moving, right? There's prana, this is life force. It moves on our breath. Feel that in your body. Let's take the feet wide apart. Drop the knees over to the right. Gently press that left knee away from you, left hip point. This is pushing away, this left hip bone. And we'll bring it back to center, drop to the left. Same thing, that right knee pushes away, the right hip pushes a little bit to the left here. And we'll just rock back and forth in our windshield wiper a few rounds, finding space. And one more. Okay, bring it back to center. We're gonna make our way into Shavasana. And I'm gonna guide you through a practice. It's called 61 points. This is where you're going to use your intention for the year. So when you come into Shavasana every practice, if you need to, you put blankets under your knees, right? If it's hard for you to lie on your back and a little support under the back of the head if needed. We don't want to have that lift otherwise, right? So always give your body space in Shavasana. Open yourself up. And allow your body to completely surrender. All of that information, your practice, allow it to be integrated during your corpse pose. Once you've found your comfortable position, close your eyes. Let go of any deep breathing you may be engaging, so allow the breath to flow on its own. And make a commitment to being still. Right? Fidgeting takes us out of our present moment, so just be still in the body. And ultimately being still in the mind. I'm gonna guide you through your body to different points. All you're doing is moving your awareness to those points and recognizing anything that may arise as you move your awareness. So we'll move rather quickly through the points. So just keep following the prompts. If you get lost in your thoughts, check yourself and come back to the prompts, moving your awareness once again. What intention are you setting for 2024? Put it in a phrase, a simple phrase. Have it be a present moment statement as if it is in existence already. Maybe an I am statement or an I have statement. And visualize whatever that may be happening in real time. So we're gonna soften our brow, soften our third eye space. Start to gaze into that space and watch your intention unfolding in your mind's eye. Okay. 
Now let that go. Keep the focus at the third eye space, being open to whatever may appear, what sensations may arise. Things like light and color sometimes pop in or visualizations, just be aware of whatever happens. Be aware of your throat. The right shoulder. The right elbow. The right wrist. The tip of the right thumb. The tip of the right index finger. The tip of the right middle finger the tip of the right ring finger, the tip of the right pinky finger, the right wrist, the right elbow, the right shoulder, the throat, the left shoulder, the left elbow, the left wrist, the tip of the left thumb, the tip of the left index finger, the tip of the left middle finger, the tip of the left ring finger, the tip of the left pinky, the left wrist, the left elbow, the left shoulder, the throat, the heart center, the right side of the torso, the heart center, the left side of the torso, the heart center, the navel, the pelvic floor, the right hip, the right knee, the right ankle, the tip of the right big toe, the tip of the right second toe, the tip of the right middle toe, the tip of the right fourth toe, the tip of the right pinky toe, the right ankle, the right knee, the right hip, the pelvic floor, the left hip, the left knee, the left ankle, the tip of the left big toe, the tip of the left second toe, the tip of the left middle toe, the tip of the left fourth toe, the tip of the left pinky toe, the left ankle, the left knee, the left hip, the pelvic floor, the navel, the heart center, the throat, the space between the eyes. Bring your awareness to a single point at the crown of the head. Be aware of that point all the way through the body to the soles of the feet. And from the soles of the feet all the way through the body to the crown of the head. Experience your body, one whole being. Drop your gaze back into the space between your eyes. Come back to the awareness of your intention or your resolution. And to yourself quietly, say it three times. And let it go. Bring your awareness back to your breathing. Feel the breath flowing in through your nostrils and out through your nostrils. Be aware of your body. Start to wake the body up. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. Take a deep stretch, arms up over the head. 
full body stretch. And gently draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug here. Rock yourself back and forth. Let's make our way to our side into fetus position. And keeping your eyes closed, we're going to press ourselves into a seated position. Sit up tall. Rest your palms on your thighs and take a shoulder roll up and back. Let's draw the chin in ever so slightly so the ears start to line up with the shoulders. Feel the crown of your head drawing straight upwards without that chin moving. Feel the spine lengthen and soften your hips. Feel the tailbone grounding into the earth. Take your palms to prayer in front of your heart. Press the palms together. Seal all of the work that you just did in between your hands. Press your thumbs into your heart center. Draw your chin in and bow your head forward and take a moment and express gratitude for the creation of your intention, your resolution. For everything that must come together in a moment for your intention to come to fruition. Honor yourself for your commitment to you, your commitment to self-care and to bettering your life and in turn, bettering the lives of those around you. So let's bow down to that beautiful light, that heart that resides within each and every one of us. Bow down to your light, bow down to your love and honor that space within all beings. And from that deep love within you, let's send a prayer of peace to all beings in the world. May all beings experience peace. And now express gratitude for three things or people in your life that you are grateful for. Say thank you. Inhale, the head back to center. Have a blissful remainder of your day. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. And so at the end of every practice, I pick angel cards. And they're like little fortunes, just words. I will pick three. Number one is spontaneity. Number two is risk. And number three, authenticity. Have the happiest new year. I will see you back on your mat tomorrow so we can continue on this journey together. Bye.